Let's take a look at how long various cable types could go. In the old days, we'd use 10 megabits per second. And 10 megabits per second is so, today, so slow that we would never have a new card. In fact, I don't think you could buy a brand new card that didn't support 100 megabits. Now, 100 megabits could go down to 10 megabits per second, but a 10 megabit card only can't go any faster. So 10 megabit, 10 base T, that's a great acronym. You should be familiar with it after we talk about it. Here's what it means. 10 means 10 megabits. Base means baseband. Have you ever heard the concept broadband? Well, broadband is multiple things happening at the same time. Baseband means there's one thing going on at a given time. So with Ethernet, we're using baseband. It's like there's a digital signal, boom, 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 and that's it. We don't have multiple frequencies going at the same time. It's one signal at a time. So 10 megabits, baseband, and then we have this cool T thing here. Anybody you want to take a guess at uh, T, what that might mean as we take a look at this cable? Twisted. Twisted pair. That's exactly what it means. So if somebody has a network, say, yeah, we got a network. We're running 10 base T. It's like, great. That means you're at a really awful, hideously slow speed. And it's baseband. It's the Ethernet standards. And you're running it over twisted pair. That means we have these cables right here connected from our PCs to our switch, probably through those horizontal runs in the ceiling. That's it. There's our, mid, there's our maximum segment length. Notice the word segment here. You'll add that to our dictionary of things that the word segment might mean. Because at layer four of the OSI model, segment is a section of data. Here, we're talking about a run of cable. And there is the ISO 8877 term for the connector type for 10 base T, which is the RJ45 connector. That's just the actual way to terminate it. Everything else follows that same set of rules. 100 base TX is 100 megabits per second baseband, and TX, they use TX instead of just T. It's their standards, let them do it. So 100 meters again, same type of connectors. For this, you need a category five cable or better. For 10 megabits, you can almost run it on barbed wire, coat hanger, not quite, but it doesn't take a lot of quality in the cabling and the twist per, sec per foot to make it work. F, so 100 megabits per second, baseband, any ideas on the F? Fiber. Fiber, that's exactly what it is. So here we have fiber. There's some specs for the actual fiber cables that you could use. There's two flavors of fiber cables uh, in the overall sense. One is single mode, which has a single signal being sent. And one's called multi-mode. Guess how many signals are being sent with multi-mode? Multiple. Multiple. Exactly right. So which can carry more traffic, multi-mode or single mode? Multi-mode. Multi-mode. Absolutely. Now, the trick is multi-mode is created differently and manufactured differently, so it doesn't go quite as far. So if you're after distance, you're going to use single mode fiber. And if you're over like, high throughput and not as far, you can use multi-mode. Uh, up here, this is back to copper. They switched on us. So this is copper, copper, fiber, and then 1,000 base T, also commonly called gig. Gig. That's gig ethernet. So we need cat 5e or better. If you're going to put cabling in today, you'd want to do at least cat 6 because it just makes sense because whatever's coming next is going to require that. And then we have 1000 base SX, which is fiber, and we have 1000 base LX, which is fiber also. Let me give you a shortcut to remember that. SX S is for short. L is for long. They're both fiber. So if you have fiber that you need to go whatever this distance is here, 550 meters, that's a long way. You could use the SX and the LX can go even further, like 1.8 miles. That's a long way to go. This is using multi-mode for the shorter and this is using single mode for long. I don't, I don't recommend you memorize the standards because they're not super critical, but if you saw a chart like this, you could decode if you just take a moment with me right now and say, okay, I got it. Base is baseband. If it's got an F, it's fiber. And if it's SX or LX, that's fiber short, fiber long. And I would want to make sure I had at least category 5E cable or better. It says cat 5 here. I don't know if I would. Obviously, it, it may support that. But if I was asked in a small room saying, hey, what kind of cable do you need for 1,000 for 1 gigabit Ethernet, 
I would say at least 5e and probably 6 just to be on the safe side. Okay?